all right new vlog new day so i gotta return to work and put all my stuff in the semi truck so start off my day with ghost pre-workout i'm gonna do my pre-trip I'm, I'm just bobtail so all i gotta do is just walk around open the hood so uh, let's get to that Now I'll just wait out for that 10 to 15 minutes mandatory pre-trip and then we're gonna start to pick up our empty. Okay, so it actually looks like I'm bobtailing to the pickup location in Sacramento, picking up a relay there and then delivering in Oakland. So that's cool with me. All right, leaving the trailer yard and first day back after a couple days of uh, vacation time. Gotta make sure look in the rear mirrors, not hitting anything. Got a big old Amazon across the street. Alright, back on the road. Let's get this started. Alright, I'm almost to the pickup destination here in a business plaza. Alright, so I'm getting close to the pickup location. Now I'm looking for some sort of a drop yard. Picking up a relay, so if you guys didn't know, a relay is when another driver drops a trailer. The paperwork is in front of the trailer. You don't have to really talk to nobody. You just pick up the trailer, make sure you have the correct paperwork and possibly you gotta weigh it if they didn't put the scale ticket there. Okay, Schneider, I probably missed the exit, missed the entrance, I mean. I missed the entrance, all right, well, do a little switcheroo here. I'll just try to make this quick U-turn. Not really supposed to do this. I'll just honk so nobody's behind me. Note to self, pay attention when you get close to the pickup location. But oh, well, it's okay, we're bobtail, so we have this is enough room to make a little uh, three point U turn. So I'm, s there's no, okay, that's not the entrance. It's saying there's an arrow for Schneider here, but that gate's closed. So I think I miss the entrance over here. Okay, so the entrance is literally right there, but I have to call my dispatch. Somebody's leaving, they're opening the gate, so that's fine, I guess. All right, well, thank you. All right, so that muscle car there opened the gate. Okay, he's leaving, that works for me. He's in and out. It's kind of weird how you just gotta park in the middle of the street and just get inside. Not the most convenient, but anyway, so now I gotta find this relay. So there's a bunch of Schneider trailers here. Pretty sure one of these are gonna be 
the relay I'm looking for. So we're picking up TA162. It's 145. Let's keep going. It's our trailer right there. Let's make a big old U turn around. Get it all lined up here. Go forward again. Is it? That trail is out. It's like this un, uneven pavement. And plus, that trail is at a weird angle. Alright, well, I'll just back up as straight as I can. I'm gonna adjust the landing gear if need be gonna stop here okay first of all let's actually check if the tip works inside all right so no paperwork but this is a trailer I'm picking up this relay this, is it even loaded let's check <sighs> all right okay it's loaded okay here's the seal okay it sounds pretty hollow is it empty I don't know I'm just gonna have to call back and what the phone number I just called earlier or check the security. So it looks like I have to just bring the landing gear up a little bit. Boy, why so hard? What's up with this landing gear? Jeez, you hear that? It's like. Okay, it looks about right now. So now it's gonna do back straight up and uh, check the fifth wheel. This has to be loaded. It's like it feels heavy. All right, well, let's do a tuck test. All right. Handle is in. Fifth wheel locked. Take care of the lines first. Okay, wait, actually, that's red. So these trailers, the blue goes over here, is service brakes. This is your electrical kicktail, it's a green line. Goes right here to give power to the lights for the trailer. Here's your trailer emergency brake, which is red. Always goes right here. Okay. Let's do a light test actually, check all the lights. gonna put the landing gear back up so you're gonna switch it when you put it up you're gonna push it down this side push it in and then we're gonna turn it counterclockwise nice. this landing gear handle is all janky um, there's no handle to hold this where am I gonna put this well, I'm going to have to put a bunch of cord on that. Yeah, that's annoying. It's 
tires. I need to get a hammer. Okay, we're in California, so this hut technically has to be a 40, so I'm gonna adjust the tandem later. Okay, brake lights are blinking, tail lights are working, lights over here are good, tires over here. Uh, it's all it's in decent shape. Not the best looking trailer, but frame is good. DOT tape is good. Now all I gotta do is freaking call where the paperwork is. If this is loaded, I gotta make sure where the paperwork is. Before I do the paperwork, let's do a uh, air brake test because gotta make sure the brakes don't fail on me. Chokes here. So we're gonna pump it down to 90. Bring the air pressure gauge back to 120. So we turn off the engine and turn on the truck, we'll leave the engine off. I push in both the tractor and trailer brakes. I'll we'll make sure the gauges stabilizes. Hold it down for about a minute. Usually I just do it for like 10 to 15 seconds. It should be good. You don't want to see any air pressure loss in the gauges. And basically what you want to do is pump it all the way down until both um, air brakes pop out by itself. Warning light, trailer brakes popped up, tractor, we're good. Shot the truck back up again. Now we just let the engine run and let the air pressure build up. While we do that, I'm gonna put the chokes back away. No paperwork and always picking up. I'm probably gonna have to go to the, the by the gate. I think there was, there was somebody there. There was a building there, but yeah, I need to call somebody or I don't know. I need to get BOL because you know it's sealed. Supposedly it's loaded, so we'll see. All right. Well, the paperwork that's supposed to be in the trailer, it's not in the trailer, and the business here they don't deal with any of the paperwork. So the last driver that dropped it off should have put it in a clipboard on front of the trailer but it's not there i'm gonna have to call my dispatcher and see if they can just email me a paperwork but i'm not sure that even worked the last time we tried to do a digital copy one i was delivering he wanted the physical copy so this is annoying you know first day back and they gave me a loaded trailer with no bol okay so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my dispatcher from my company and I had to physically write down the information for this loaded trailer on this bill of lading book, which looks like this. You gotta literally write down all the information, which is on a tablet, transfer it, put it on this book in physical form because the last driver didn't leave the bill of lading in the trailer so it just makes it more work for me but you know what it's all good first day back let's not try to put too much stress on the mine and let's just keep rolling all right so let's leave gonna check this trailer is moving all right gonna just pull forward just a little bit because i just remembered i have to adjust the tandems to 40 feet because we are in California and you got to do that. All right, so got to just get a four feet. Remember, it's about right here. It's like, you know, 40 and a half, but you want the legal California way.
go ahead and lock the lever and we're gonna probably pull forward. <coughs> yeah, the pop pull forward is gonna be like around right here, which is, you know, around 40 feet. It's good enough. This trailer is about 34,000 pounds, so I might have to weigh this because I don't know if it's gonna be overweight at 40 feet on the tandems. We are good to go. All right, let's get moving. I mean, it doesn't feel heavy. It's not that bad, but we'll see. I'll just weigh it. Anything over 30,000 pounds of total on a trailer, you wanna just weigh it, cause you never know. So this is a little tight turn. I'm gonna make a wide turn, button hook to the left, turn to the right. Make sure you look all directions here. And they're closing the gate on me. Why? Hello, I'm in inside the gate and I'm leaving. Um, the gate's closed right now. Yes, let me open it. Give me a moment. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, they saw me and opening up the gate, so let's leave. Looks like we're making a left turn here. I'm gonna have to swing to the right just to make that left turn because we're gonna clip the side if you don't swing wide. This is a tight turn, tight spot, but nothing too hard I can't handle. Been there, done that. Approach slowly, looking at the traffic. Oh, we got a bug truck running through. Looks good so far. Swing this way. Okay, we're actually pretty good. Not too bad. That's enough space. All right. Well, we're on the move to the truck stop, and we're gonna weigh this bad boy.